it has been an amazing experience to rediscover, rediscover this chronograph, which happened in 2012. This chronograph was hidden for two centuries. And actually, to rewrite the watch history in the name of Louis Moinet is something I would never have dreamt of. So it was a big day for us. And um, it has also given us roots, self-confidence, a direction. You know, the past, you have to be careful with the past, not to look too much in the rear mirror. You have to look at today and the future. <clears throat> and this is how we create our watches, contemporary watches. But to have such a strong history in the past is like a tree. You have a root. And we have beautiful roots that have enabled us to build a tree with today the fruits are these contemporary watches. Today we have two worlds. We have mechanical art. It's purely mechanical watch on your wrist. Or we have cosmic art. Cosmic art is something that has to do with the cosmos. We have had a collaboration with some astronauts and cosmonauts. We have launched some watches with moon meteorites, Mars meteorites. Actually, I have started a collection myself in which I have more than 30 different meteorites. So many of them will be released them one by one, you know. And it's fascinating because this universe is endless. And because of that, they all have a different stories. It's not simply a, a piece from a planet. Sometimes they have some amazing components inside. And uh, the third thing is flown material. What I use this word, the flown material, is something that was on board Apollo 11, for instance, that went to the moon and back. It orbited the moon, this material, left Cape Canaveral, orbited the moon in the module command, and landed on water. And then, through my network, I have been lucky enough to find a small piece of Apollo 11. So we use this as a treasure to put it in some of our watches. Of course, it is, it is very selective because it's not unlimited. So we try to do the best use of it. <clears throat> now, all this, it came from the history again. Because the history of Louis Monet is inventor of the chronograph. Why? Because he was also an astronomer. So he invented the chronograph to measure the transit of the stars. You know, looking at the stars and activating his chronograph. So we, have, we find a, a balance through history and the modern world. behaviors of people that have changed a lot in the past 50 years. Before a watch was to tell the time. Today a, a watch at a certain time, maybe 20 years ago, was more like a status symbol. Today still for some, but today it is more like a, a modern piece of art. And for me, a watch is interesting as long as it brings you the wow effect. We don't need copycats. We need some fresh impulse, some fresh initiatives in this world because it's an artistic world. <laughs> As a creator, the next one is always the most important, of course. But I, I love all our watches. There, there is not one watch that I would say, ah, this one I don't like. It has been an ongoing process for the past 20 years, starting from a very small shop, a laboratory actually, and building it into a, a nice company. Uh, our watches, they have won 50 interna international recognitions in the past 10 years, uh, two world records. So we are very happy about that. Now, if you ask me, if, if you really push me and ask me to make a choice, I would say the memories, the memory spirit, the watch I wear. Why? Because it's 100% Louis Moinet's DNA.
I'll be very short, but if I can choose two. The first one, professionally, it was this uh, rediscovery of uh, the first ever chronograph, uh, which was something that goes beyond the professional world. It's for me, I have always been passionate about watches. Uh, I'm from Vijra Mountains, and from my childhood, the watch is something I respect a lot. And for somebody like me to, once again, rewrite the watch history, not in my name, but in the name of Louis Moinet, it was one of the biggest days in my life. And the second one, as a human being, is that we, we, we gave a watch to a friend of mine who has an association to make dwells in Africa for the water. This watch he auctioned and he gave water to 3,000 people. And, and you know, this is also, we have a responsibility in the world. For me to give this watch, it was not much, to tell you the truth. But look at the impact. 3,000 people who didn't have access to fresh water. So we continue year after year to do some uh, actions like that. And I'm very happy. It's part of a journey as a human being. You know, a few years ago, I was <clears throat> a bit frustrated because I kept saying the history of Louis Moinet to some customers, telling them, oh, look, he has this clock at the White House and that clock belongs to the Tsar of Russia. And because it's the past. So I said, now finished. I will write a book. And I wrote a book. It took me three years. It's a, it's a thriller. It takes a, it's a cocktail of historical elements with my imagination. And uh, Louis Moinet, of course, protecting a treasure. And actually, my dream would to have a movie based on this book. What about space travel? Yeah, space is very interesting as well. Every time I create a watch, is for me art. Art is the most important. So we try to focus on different elements, artistic elements. But we have to keep in mind that the time must be, it's, it's a function of the watch at the end. So I will not say it's a compromise, but there is a point in which we have to find a balance. You know, sometimes it is difficult to to look at the time and like this watch, the first one I had, the chronograph hand, was in uh, rhodium, silver. And because of all the mechanism visible beneath, it was difficult to read. So now you have, you have a red, which makes it very legible. So we solve the problem, but we have to be very careful with this. No, I think internet helps a lot because Keep in mind that watch business is a small business in the world. So now today, if you are in uh, if you are in Kathmandu or if you are in Ouagadougou, it's very easy to connect and to find the information that you and I we discover here at the same time, which is fantastic. Now we have to use this element wisely, and uh, some some people they use it to discount the watches, which is not good. But if we do the right thing, internet is a big help. In our case, last year we manufactured 500 watches. We could have sold possibly 1,000, maybe even more. But we want to protect our market. We want to make 500 watches, sell them to the right partners. Les Ambassadeurs being one of them, of course. And to make our customers happy, so when they have a, they have a client in the shop, Hopefully, we can provide, we can deliver what is requested. We have also increased our inventory ourselves to make our customers happy. So it's better to have 500 sold to the right people than to have 1,000 sold to the right and the wrong people. As simple as that. I think everybody has to judge 
And I don't think greed goes well with watchmaking. We have to be artists, but we have to be farmers, to be uh, down to earth and um, to be responsible for what we do. So Les Ambassadeurs is in my heart since the beginning. It's a, it's a lovely name for me. I have affection for this name. And I'm very proud to be a Les Ambassadeurs partner today. <laughs>